control line. Merry Christmas, 007. I'm Sir Hilary Bragg. Oh, no, 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 Mr. Bond. Respectable baronets from the College of Heralds do not seduce female patients in clinics. On the other hand, they do get their professional details right. The Blochamp tombs are not in the Augsburg Cathedral, as you said, but in the St. Anna Kirch. Sir Hilary Bray would have known. A small slip. It takes more than a few props to turn 007 into a herald. Take more than cutting off your earlobe, Blofeld, to turn you into a count. I may yet surprise you, but I'm afraid that you have no surprises left for me. I know all about your mission, Mr. Bond. Your colleague, such a keen climber, such a brilliant conversationalist, before he left us. You realize he reported where I am? I doubt that. In any case, no one's going to come to your rescue. In a few hours, the United Nations will receive my Yuletide greeting. The information that I now possess, the scientific means to control or to destroy the economy of the whole world. People will have more important things to think about than you. They believe your threat. <laughs> oh, they will. In any case, I have prepared a demonstration. Remember that disagreeable outbreak of foot and mouth disease in England last summer? Well, I shall instruct them in very convincing terms. Exactly how I arranged that, and my capacity has improved since. Allergy vaccines? Bacteria. Bacteriological warfare. With the difference. Our great breakthrough since last summer has been the confection of a certain Vitus Omega. Infertility. Total infertility in plants and animals. Not just disease in a few herds, Mr. Bond, or the loss of a single crop but the destruction of a whole strain forever throughout an entire continent. If my demands are not met, I shall proceed with a systematic extinction of whole species of cereals and livestock all over the world. Including, I suppose, the human race. I don't think to you, Mr. Bond, the United Nations would let it come to that. Not after their scientists analyzed a small sample of virus omega they have received. Epidemics of sterility. Nothing is born, no seed even begins to sprout. They'll find an antidote. Of course, if I give them enough time. They'll have time. Once they're warned, you'll have a problem dispensing the stuff. That problem has already been solved. I have been training my own special angels of death. Those girls. Those girls, and many others like them. But exactly how? That will remain my secret. And how many hundred millions do you want for your services this time, Blofeld? This time? <laughs> this time, the price is of another kind. You'll be even more amused when you know what. In the meanwhile, I will keep you here as my guest. You'll be very useful in helping to convince the authorities that I mean what I say, and I'll do what I claim. Come, let me show you to your new quarters. 